Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, LearningVideo.com. So I wanted to do three comparisons, one with a mechanical hard drive, a regular SSD, and the newer, really fast MVME drives. This first test I'm gonna be doing is on the O drive, and the O drive is a regular hard drive, Western Digital. And I'm playing a 4K XAVC footage on a 4K timeline. You can see it's coming around 10 meg read, and we're going on to red epic footage, 5K on a 4K timeline. It's coming around 30, 35, it's bouncing around, um, read speeds on this. And then we got four streams of XAVCS footage. You can see it's bouncing around around 35 meg per second. There is a little bit of drop frames going on there. It's around 32 to 35. And then we go to here, this is really hard. Um, this is Red Epic, Red Dragon, uh, 4.6 Mini Ursa, all raw footage. Um, you can see that the CPU is only at 20, like 29, 30%, but the uh, the disk drive is maxing out around 90, 95 meg. So the bottleneck here is not the CPU, it's definitely the mechanical hard drive uh, in test number one. And just for kicks, um, I ran a rendering test on this one minute file. You can see here the CPU is bounced around from 50 to 80% and the O drive is maxing out at read speeds around 130 meg. And it finished, I believe, if I remember correctly, it was 154. Yeah, 154, a minute and 54 seconds to render that file. Now before we go on to the last two tests, I just wanna basically say this is mostly about, these questions I have are about video editing. It's about drop frames and rendering speed, nothing really else. Um, this is not about transferring files, how fast your computer will boot up if you have like an MVME drive. This is not about like using a separate drive for a scratch drive or anything like that. Now everybody's system is different. My system is extremely powerful. I've got 16 cores overclocked to 1080 Ti. I'm using Resolve. If you're using something like Premiere Pro or some other NLE, you're gonna probably get different results. But oh, I'm gonna guess they're gonna be similar. Um, all I'm doing here is swapping out the media or the media drive where all the, the media is contained. I'm not changing my scratch drive. I'm not changing my export drive. I'm not changing my operating system at all. Um, so I took a poll this morning. Uh, it's only uh, four hours old, uh, 125 volts. And I was surprised when I asked the question, how many drives do you use? when you video, you're doing video editing, uh, like a hard drive, an SSD, an MVME for your like operating system, your media or scratch drive or export drive. All right, so going on to the next test. This is the SSD 850 Pro. It's my two terabyte drive. This is how I normally have my system set up. And as you can see, uh, it's uh, about 10 meg on the XAVCS footage. Then we go to 32, 35 read speed on the Red Epic 5K footage. And going on to this one, uh, the four streams, there's no drop frames, but you'll notice that the read speed definitely went up. Before it was only 32 to 35, now it's hitting 40. And there's no drop frames here. Um, and then we go into the very <laughs> heavy raw footage. You can see definitely um, it's maxing out. You can see the CPU is at 100%. Um, but the drive is only at 310. It has more headroom. This drive can do 500 meg. So the bottleneck here is the CPU and it's not the hard drive, even on this really complex stuff that we've got going on here. So I went ahead and I also rendered this out. Um, as you can see, this is towards the end of the render and it finished at 127. So moving on to the MVME drive, 960 Pro. Um, we're looking at, it's located on my S scratch drive uh, for this particular test. You can see the four streams are doing like 40 meg. There's no drop frames. Um, she looks good on every single frame. So, it, which is pretty amazing. You got four 4K footage and it's doing that. And then we go out in the complicated stuff, the raw footage, you can see the read speeds are a little bit higher than they were. They're constantly above 300 for the most part. It dips down in the 200s a little bit, but for the most part, they're staying up in the 300s. So there's a little bit of difference between the NVMe drive and the regular SSD um, two terabyte drive that I normally use. And this one, um, when I was doing the rendering, also came in at like 127. So rendering speed wise, it was exactly the same in terms of rendering out. All right, so the big takeaways here is I don't think you really need an NVMe uh, drive for video editing, um, like what I'm doing here. 
Uh, I'm not talking about After Effects. I'm not talking about 3D rendering or anything like that. The type of stuff that I've just demonstrated here. Um, the second takeaway is that an SSD is much better than a regular hard drive. Um, that was pretty obvious from these tests. And the bottleneck I think here is really the CPU. And I've got a 16 core overclocked at 4.2, 4.3 uh, gig. And really that's the bottleneck. If I had maybe 32 cores um, and it could send more information to the hard drives faster, um, like instead of sending only 300 meg to the hard drives, it could be sending you know, like 800, 900 meg. And then we would see a difference, I think. We would see less choppy footage and we, see, we would see faster rendering times. Um, and the last one is, I just threw this in, is you don't really need an SSD for an export drive, um, even Resolve. And I did this in Premiere Pro years ago. I've looked at how much stuff is being written to the hard drive as you're rendering it. And it's usually just around 12, 10 or 12 meg and a regular hard drive could handle it. The only reason I'm using an SSD is just for transferring files. It just transfers files much faster. So that's pretty much it. Um, I guess if you wanted to save a little money and you're doing video editing, you don't really need an MVME. Yes, you'll have faster boot times or if you're doing a searching for a file on your hard drive, things are gonna happen a lot snappier with an MVME drive. But again, I was just looking at the instance of just swapping out the media drive. I wasn't talking about the scratch drive at all. That's kind of a different subject altogether. So that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.